This is a reality check on vibe coding in 2025. Now I'm very bullish personally on vibe coding, but I think people are getting very confused in terms of what can you actually build with vibe coding and what can't you build. Vibe coding works really great for basic informational websites or web apps. For example, if you look at my AI agent directory, that's a directory website 100% vibe coded in one day. Company pages, content sites, where you don't have to keep track of user data, nobody's logging in, it's not that complicated. Also, vibe coding is really awesome for prototyping MVPs, demos, front end prototypes. Building a startup, you can definitely build a functional MVP as long as it's not too complicated. You can vibe code workflow automations, internal dashboards, internal reporting, and spin up landing pages very quickly. There are now better vibe coding tools to build mobile apps, so that's feasible. Again, as long as it's a simpler, single player, single feature mobile app. Now, when it comes to complex existing code bases, the reality is it still takes a lot of time, effort, and energy. I need to be the one driving and reviewing every piece of AI generated code. I have an extensive Claude MD file that I've previously shared and it makes it 10x better. But if you're not careful, AI will absolutely introduce breaking bugs that you won't even notice. So it's definitely possible to be productive with AI coding tools, even with a complex existing code base. You have to act like the senior developer who's hand-holding AI every step of the way.